All right, people, welcome back. More Dev Pro Dual Commentary. So we are joined by Stu. Hey, guys, Stu here again. And uh, as you guys know, Stu is uh, going around giving the news about that uh, that hopefully real dueling book. Yeah, I don't know if you saw the video on Kev G's channel, too, but he was, like, apparently able to get onto the website. Yeah, that was interesting that he, like, popped on into the website. He couldn't log in, but... It's looking pretty real. Like this is this is too much for a prank. Like this is this is a little bit too much. So, hopefully yeah. it's real. And of course it's real. Then I mean, so we can get back to doing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Two Draft League season two on that. I said I'll give it a couple of months. I can I can I'm willing to wait. I'm not really in a hurry to get it done. Anyway, we have Jay Polar twenty five here, and then ironically X Stevens Chan <laughs> X Steven Stalker. So. You can stalk him and ask him if uh, if the yeah, whole no, thing is real. Yeah, really no, not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw his second channel or anything, but that was some pretty messed up stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Steven's second channel. What, his, uh, his Yu-Gi-Oh! slut or something like that? Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! slut. It's like, how am I just now finding out about this? Okay. And then fucking Cap G, fucking posting him in his fucking half naked. Like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> yeah, I emailed both of the links that they had on the website, so hopefully they'll get back to me for once. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. You get an estimated range and when it's actually going to come out. Mm -hmm. and it looks like they're working on it. And the whole Necron's of Brionic looks fine. <laughs> And we have a duel with, of course, Blue Eyes. I mean, it's came out, it's, it's going on meta. So we'll see, I guess. Yeah, no surprise we see Blue Eyes, of course. No, everybody gets on that Blue Eyes dick. What the fuck, game? Fuck it. <laughs> oh, what, 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 did something happen? Twin Twister? <laughs> you must have, like, a Call of the Haunted or Oasis. Yeah, you have to have a Call of the Haunted Oasis. So it's playing it's like, Cosmos. Why was just Twin Twister one? <laughs> Uh, didn't open up too hot, so go ahead and, uh... Let me that now. I'm trying to figure out when. It's just, you can hop out of the way with Azure, turn... I mean, with Spirit, turn that into Azure, and then... It would still just be a 3000 buoy that you can't get over with just Dark Destroyer, so... I don't know, I'm not I don't... I don't think... I don't think that Blue Eyes is strong enough to fight against Cosmos. At least if they open up full strength, like... I just think that the meta, the current meta right now, is a little bit too strong for Blue Eyes to really prosper like maybe after the ban list they can prosper but yeah like i'm pretty much guessing the ban list is going to come out like right after worlds mm -hmm. and if not right after worlds like like september 1st back when they used to do it mm -hmm. oh boy catch the Ouch. fucking cosmojo that doesn't target boy so that's gone and then he can summon a farm girl and fuck you up <laughs> no he didn't even open that good he really didn't like, no Tin Can, no Card of Demise, or anything. Mm-hmm. Really background. Still here. able to do the plays. Yep. So go ahead and pick that. If you got Honest, I'd play it. <laughs> I would if they even play. still play on it. Oh, yeah. the Blue Eyes guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The Blue Eyes guy. If he had Honest, I'd definitely play it. Just go for the crash. Oh, damn. Wow, really? It's really interesting. That's too much for Dark Destroyer. I probably would have went for Cosmo Town. Uh, I would have went for Cosmic Town to Dark Shore Pup himself. Like, okay. Hello? If this was real life, you would have lost? What do you mean? Yeah, like, what do you he mean? He must have misclicked or something. I just don't understand. Like, didn't he already conduct his battle phase and everything? So what do you mean he would have he lost? What do you have done? I mean, there was still the Cosmo Joe. There was still the Dark Destroyer. So, I mean... Yeah. yeah. Really don't know how you would have played around that. Mm-hmm. Now get to Cosmic Town? Like... Seeing two farm girls? Yeah. One to two farm girls. Like, that's fine. It's debatable. It depends on which version of the deck. If you're running, like, not card I'd probably go with two farm girls, just so you can keep the other one in your deck for emergency teleport situations, but if you're running the card demise variant, then definitely just one. Or the only you want her. Yeah, farm girl's still a really good card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually saw someone's banless prediction, they said farm girl ban, so... <laughs> I honestly don't see that happening, but like, okay. No, she's not that bad, like... <laughs> like, Cosmotown is a good hit. Maybe Tin Can, maybe Dark Star, but I don't want to hear anything else. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some people say Dark Lady, I'm like, uh, no. 
Oh, go ahead and summon to get that uh, effect veiler. Yep. Freaking uh, Sanctuary's Eyes of Blue is very, very powerful card. It can add effect veiler? Wow. Yeah, why not? It says add light level one tuner monster. Why not effect veiler? <laughs> I haven't seen people do that since they went to regate into Sangin, detached the Sangin, and had the failure before it got like the red or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Go ahead and tag out for a blue eyes if you they're gonna he's gonna allow you to get that off. Yeah. Time to hop out of the way and summon. Dark Shore, that's drive it back, yep. And Dark Shore will go pew pew right on that blue eyes and I mean, it's not looking too hot, Mr. Blue Eyes guy. Yeah. Mr. I would have gamed you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, he scooped it up. All right, well, I guess we're going to game two. All right, game two. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe next world's Cosmos will be able to be used at Worlds. It's kind of like the decks come down to G only. Then they can't beat worlds. Then they come on OCG. Then they get hit on both lists combined. And then by the time it's the next worlds, they're like not even relevant. Like like Burning Abyss. <laughs> like, this will be the <laughs> yeah. first worlds that Burning Abyss is able to be at worlds. But they're just so freaking hit on both lists combined that it's just not even worth the time and effort to try to take them. Yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if Cosmos will get to that point where you know they'll OCG will get Cosmos will hit Cosmos. They'll do other hits and then combine for the. Uh, 2017 world was like, well, I guess we're not playing Cosmos. <laughs> 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 All right, so Melody, go ahead and pitch your alternate to grab alternate and blow. <laughs> that's just, that's just such an so obvious So powerful. Mm-hmm. Like, they drop 3,000 beaters like it's not even funny. All right, go ahead and catch this Twin Twister. Of course, blow eyes place triple up. Pitch that stone, that ancient stone. Target your two set. Wow. It's also like don't set two in Yu-Gi-Oh. No, not anymore. I'm just asking for it. So it was a Twin Twister and Oasis. And it looks like, I mean, he has the card advantage right now. It really depends on what's that last card in, in the Cosmo player's hand. If it's like a Dark Destroyer or something, then you're getting wrecked, you know. But if it's not anything to deal with Blue Eyes or hop out of the way or anything along those lines, then he might have. He might be doing pretty well. But I don't think he would summon the, Cos the Farm Girl if he didn't have anything to, you know, go into. There'd be no point. Just take damage on your chin and hold on to your resources. Yeah, there's obviously something he can tag out into. The question mm -hmm. is which one. Yeah. Cause, I mean, Dark Destroyer would be the most optimal play, but then you also got cards like uh, Forerunner, which wouldn't be as great, or Slip Riders. And it looks like Slip Rider. Mm. Slip Rider pop here. Come to yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yep. And the I, alternate still can't attack, right? Yeah, alternate can attack. Yeah, I have to say I don't have a destroyer. So if he if he did attack over, you could get into a pilot, and then the pilot can go into dark destroyer. You just add it to your hand. So it's not looking like the greatest of duels right now, like in the situation for X Steven Stalker, but he has the power of X Steven. I'm just really hoping that this is real, because it would be super disappointing if this is just one big troll. Like, this is... T I really do think that it's uh, too much of a troll. Like, I'm, like, 90% sure that this is real. Yeah, I was at, like, 70-80 last night. Before then, I was 50-50. Now, I'm pretty much at, like, 90%. Because, I mean, yeah. who would go through all that? Like, if Captain G actually got onto the, you know, the website, like, come on. Right. Yeah, the link works for me as well. They have their own Instagram, YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter. So, I mean. Ooh, and that is definitely a situation I said there. So, he did his, uh, I think his Priest of Eyes of Blue. He turned into the deck targeted to switch out for Blue Eyes and then attacked. But uh, unless you can uh, get that tin can off the field, there's going to be. Yeah, some that's the problem. There. Yeah. Tell you the truth, it might have been. I don't know. I don't know. That's questionable because he could have just took the Slip Rider and crashed into you. So. Kind of debating on whether it would have been best to leave the slip rider there. But now, go ahead and that end phase, get that tin can search. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'll probably get a little bit of while. Like, as soon as Dueling Book is actually up and running, I probably won't just jump right into season two up again. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to network a little bit better. I didn't really network that well with season two. Like, wait, only... did he not search? No, he didn't search. What the heck? I know. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
But yeah, I didn't network that well for season two. Like I really only gave the uh, YouTubers uh, a week. You're so lucky. What? What's he lucky about? He must have like. Or just Dev Pro was stupid. Didn't load him. Use the effect. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I only give the YouTubers a week. There are some YouTubers that said sure, but then never did. And in the end, I only got a guess flow from only Mega Capital G for season two. Like that's pretty bad in comparison to uh, season one and how viral the video was. Yeah, and last it, year it was on everyone's channel and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I guess maybe this is maybe at <laughs> the end going down was a saving grace. <laughs> I guess. Now the question is if the dueling book actually works. I mean, I think I'll probably end up going to dueling book. I think it'll be like DB dual commentary because I mean I don't mind Dev Pro, but the duels just go so fast. Yeah, the duels <laughs> go fast, and I mean apparently this entire match would be completely different if it was like on DN or real life. Yeah, apparently. He wouldn't use sense. tin can, and then game one the other guy was salty about something. <laughs> So you can go ahead and cast that strike, boy, and, uh, the struggle is real. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what's in, uh, the Blue Eyes player's hand, but... Just can't beat the power of Cosmos yet. Oh, setting effect failure, that's never good. No, that's never good. That's in, you know, <laughs> deep shit. And this is what I was talking about right here. That's it, Blue Eyes. Tier 1? I don't think so. And TCG? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely not tier one. Like your spirit's decent at least. Like your spirit can stop graveyard effects, but it can only stop one in comparison to all. Like if it can stop all graveyard effects, then maybe we could talk. But it can only stop one. So burning abyss PK, I think they could kind of you know outgrind you, outbeat you, especially since uh, they can go to that dark rebellion and cut your attack in half and, and make a beater stronger than your blue eyes. So unless you have a turn, we can't handle that. Cosmos, no, not really. We really can't do much with Cosmos, and uh, I guess the pendulum mechanic kind of gets hurt. But Keating, I mean, Keating just says fuck you, so. Yeah, the Monarch matchup doesn't look that good. It's kind of back and forth. Like, I could see you, you being able to summon a Blue Eyes and attack over them, but then if they have their domain, they just attack over you, and they lock you out of the extra deck. No, extra deck blue eyes. The extra deck of blue eyes is a big part of them. In my spirit. Yeah, and Stormforth seems really good. Yep, just Stormforth tribute or shit. So I don't know. All of the, the four, that's four decks of the format are just shaking their heads, being like, "Nah, you can't beat us." So, no, to say the truth, tier one, no. <laughs> <laughs> they go ahead and sit in the corner with the other tier two decks, and maybe you'll get your chance to shine. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So finally, he's actually able to use the tin cans effect. Yep. Because I know we're not crazy. You can use tin cans effect during your opponent's end phase. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yep, always go after tin can. Even if they're going to tag it out into something else, always go after it. <laughs> I mean, the blood guy has cards in his hand. He has resources. It's just, what are you doing here? Is that a drowning mirror force? Do you even play Drowning Mirror Force, really? Maybe. Damn, and once again, always go after that tin can. So now he got it. <laughs> oh, yep. Wow. Okay. It's a tin can and tag out. Go for another Dark Destroyer, then maybe Dark Destroyer destroy the other Dark Destroyer, go for a Slip Rider, pop that background, that's game. Yeah, he probably just wanted to do that in the end phase. Mm-hmm, so good. The trap card or whatever set card wouldn't be live. Yep, so. Dr. Strider pop himself, so I mean, slip. You should have one more in your deck if. Because you already sent two. Or is that three? Nope, that's two. You should have one more if you play three. I see some people playing two. He might not play three. Mm, no, looking like that. That's what I would have done. Or he might have sided one out against Blue Eyes. It doesn't really seem the best of cards. That's true. But didn't he keep in his Twin Twisters? Yeah, you did. Uh -oh. They keep it into hey, Captain One. Yeah, so hopefully you're not gonna just run into that drowning mirror force. 
Unless he's trying to play mind games, but I seriously think that's that card. Oh. <laughs> Wing Bust. Okay, that does, like, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't target Dark Destroyer, he'll just poke you for 3,000. It's game. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. That's a game. Yep, yeah, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get one more. Be right back. All right. We got another match. We got uh, Jay Pollard again. So, apparently, he wants to go. And, ironically, now he's going against Pendulum. So, I guess we test. I mean, if he's still using Wise. We can test and see. You lost the Cosmos. Can you beat Pendulum? <laughs> <laughs> that is the real test. <laughs> that'd be that'd be half of the freaking top tier decks right there, boy. So, did you, did you stay with uh, Blue Eyes, J. Polar? I mean, thankfully for him, the Pendulum guy didn't open up amazing. Yeah, he really didn't. Like, I've seen, I've seen way worse from that. I mean, he does have the Skull Cravat Joker, and of course that means that he does have that one-card Pendulum Scale Monkey Bard, so... Yeah, they definitely need to clear that, uh, this shit up. Fucking, like, GPYG, you know? like, oh, yep, like, don't hit Sorcerer and freaking Skull Cravat Joker to three! Like, no, 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 no! <laughs> what? Yeah, he said that, like, are you on crack? <laughs> If anything, fucking Monkey Boar can have a ban, and fucking Sorcerer can go to one. <laughs> uh, no, right? Oh, he's stuck, he's stuck in with the Blue Eyes. I'm not the biggest fan of the, the extra Blue Eyes shit. Like, I think the deck is much better and faster without all this extra shit. Like, Maiden, she's okay. Like, if you want to run Maiden, sure, but, like, really? Like, Mausoleum and shit? Like, you don't, anybody got time for that. <laughs> but I guess in the OCG, ain't nobody got time for Chaos Max, either. <laughs> they don't even play that. No, they don't. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Catch that scolding, though. Solemn scolding, wow. <laughs> the balance solemn card. <laughs> Damn. Send the blue eyes to gospel it right back. <laughs> Just that life point cost. Yeah, yeah. It's like almost solemn judgment turn one, like... Mm-hmm. You pay mm. 3,000, but you stop anything. Damn. Damn, we've got to catch double. Now, if you could get rid of that, uh... That paladin. Oh wait, can he go into uh does can he contact trees into twin and then twin can attack toys? Or does it have to be on monsters? That might be game. <laughs> Draws Regeki. That'd be hilarious. Pop, I think he could pop that and go Oh <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> Damn One guy opens up like shit, the other guy fucking summons three blue eyes. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Coco. Damn. Alright, game two. Alright, game two. Yep, Gospel. Gospel is broken. That card is stupid. Hello? Did someone just quit? I know. Did someone just quit? Hold on. Alright, people. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm not sure who quit, but it ended, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Domain Monarchs here. Hmm. Yes, it is. And shitty. They got Legendary Gaman? At, uh, looks like Domain Monarchs. And Coco. Uh, trying it again. Like, God, Coco just got the yeah, axe marks. Ew, escalation. Uh, don't usually see them set like three cards turn one. Oh, if you guys, if you guys actually saw that pop up right there, that was actually a uh, coach of uh, Dragon Ball Z League messaging me on Discord. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I muted Skype, but I didn't miss. I didn't mute Discord. I don't think anybody was gonna message me on Discord. <laughs> yeah, no, right. The two draft league chats just been. Like a ghost town. <laughs> a ghost town. Like, no one has said anything since freaking DN has gone down. A lot you of know, people just, like, left once mm -hmm. DN went down. Yeah, it sucks. So, hopefully Dueling Buck is real, legit. Um, the funny thing is we actually have, like... I want to say we have two matches? Yeah, we have two matches already recorded for Season 2 on DN, which I'm still going to put up. And then there's one match uh, that yeah. already, <laughs> and there's one match that the two first duels are done, but then the the third round needs to be done, so it's gonna be on dueling. <laughs> it's just gonna switch over in the middle of the video, <laughs> like okay. <laughs> it's like one month later. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing happened here, guys. And uh, Coco opened up really well. Of course, you get that uh, Joker, and Sorcerer, and then Pendulum Summon. You get your Pokemon Palace. Like hey, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> It looks like the Monarch guy didn't open up that well. Yeah, like, that was just I'm, brick. Like, Escalation? Really? Yeah, ain't nobody got time for Escalation. <laughs> Unless you're trying to do freaking, like, Zushin. <laughs> Is yeah, I never was really the biggest fan of that. 
No, no. That was that was a really boring back on daily duels for a month. No offense to Zusha Mastery, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember him trying to copy your name and everything. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Escalation was kind of cute when you could, like, summon Majesty's Fiend and Vanity's Fiend on your opponent's turn, but, like, no one even main decks Majesty's Fiend anymore. Mm-mm. Yeah. In fact, Vanity's Fiend doesn't have the right stats, and Majesty's Fiend, they just don't play him anymore. <laughs> yep. Yep, go ahead and scoop. All right, game two. Yep. Wow, they're ready to quick. All right, I didn't even need to pause. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> go so fast on here. Freaking hello wow, again. Okay, all right, everybody's quitting. We're done. We're done. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now I know why I hate recording on here. Okay, okay, they just quit. It's done. Like, it's wow. like why? <laughs> Can you at least get do us give us some entertainment? I mean, they don't even know that we're watching, so maybe if there's like a watcher's chat, maybe they would have stayed just to entertain, but. Me, this is this is the RV, man. I mean, this, is, this is the entertainment duels. That wasn't entertaining. I didn't like any of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rip. So, anyway, I guess thanks for watching. Thank you, Stu, for joining me. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> so hopefully, the book will be done. Even if it's not done for a couple of months, we can wait. You know, I'm in no hurry to get season two started. So, uh, so let's just cross our fingers and hope. <laughs> that yeah, I wouldn't mind waiting like a month. Yeah, this big, 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 big prank. This is too much. <laughs> All right, people. So uh, I will see you guys next week with some more Dead Pro Commentary. Thanks for watching.